Looking for a new phone? Because with LG, Xiaomi, and Huawei, you've got options. Let's start off with the LG Ray. And the plus points are that the LG Ray comes with an 8 megapixel selfie camera and a 13 megapixel rear facing camera. This smartphone is powered by a 1.4 gigahertz MediaTek octa core processor and comes available with dual SIM card slots and a removable 3000 milliamp hour battery. You can also select G series features like knock code unlock and camera gesture shot. The handset is not without its compromises though. The processor is paired up with just a single gigabyte of RAM. The system on a chip's Mali 400 GPU isn't even a mid range smartphone part these days, and the phone doesn't support 4G networks. Although to be fair, the phone is targeted at markets where 3G is still the dominant network technology. The phone's large 5.5 inch display is only packing 720p resolution, which won't be as clear as other large smartphones on the market. The LG Ray is destined for the CIS, or the Commonwealth of Independent States, this week, followed by Latin America shortly afterwards. The phone has been spotted with a price tag of $232 US in Russia and will arrive in silver, gold, and Titan black color options. And as predicted, Huawei is not slowing down with the launch of the Huawei Mate 8. It's a big phone. Huawei is on an upward trajectory, both in its native China, where it just took the market lead, and in the West, where the Nexus 6P is being hailed as one of the best Android smartphones available. Details are a little scarce for the moment, because Huawei chose to give the Mate 8 a limited launch in China, with a full global debut to follow in CES 2016. The Mate 8 features a 6-inch Full HD display, just like the Mate 7 before it, covered in 2.5D Gorilla Glass. The edge-to-edge -edge design and large display give the Mate 8 a fantastic 83% screen-to-body ratio. The display itself is supposed to be improved compared to last year's release, featuring a color range that tops 95% of the NTSC gamut. Available in Champagne Gold, Moonlight Silver, Space Gray, and Mocha Brown, the Mate 8 appears to be comparable in thickness to the 7.2mm Mate S. Confirming the rumors, the rear of the device is dominated by a large camera module and a circular fingerprint sensor invoking the Nexus 6P. The fingerprint scanner is said to be faster and more accurate than the Mate S. The Curin 950 processor, which Huawei launched earlier this month, is the first processor to feature the Cortex-A72 and four Cortex-A53 CPU cores, combined with the Mali-T880 GPU. And not to be outdone, Xiaomi just upped the ante in the low-cost game. The company just introduced the Redmi Note 3, a metallic 5.5-incher featuring a fingerprint sensor, solid specs, and selling for a fraction of the price of its competitors in its class. The Redmi Note 3 is the sequel to the plastic-made Redmi Note 2, which Xiaomi launched just three months ago. While the Note 3 shares some of the specifications, processor, display, and RAM, the device is a clear upgrade, thanks to the premium design, fingerprint scanner, and larger battery. The Redmi Note 3 comes with a 5.5-inch Full HD display that Xiaomi calls Sunlight Display. This means that the screen tunes the contrast and brightness of individual pixels in order to maximize visibility in bright light. The processor is an octa-core Helio X10 MediaTek, while depending on the version, the memory is either 2GB or 3GB of RAM, with either 16 or 32GB of internal storage. The battery of the Redmi Note 3 is a 4000mAh, a hefty bump over the 3020mAh of the Redmi Note 2. Fast charging is supported. There's also a 13 megapixel rear camera with phase detection and autofocus, as well as a 5 megapixel camera up front. Now, although the Redmi Note 3 was the main event at this launch, they did sneak in the announcement regarding the Mi Pad 2. The metal construction of the Mi Pad 2 is significantly thinner than the first take on this tablet. Measuring at just 6.95 millimeters, it also loses a good amount of weight, down to 322 grams. For reference, the Mi Pad original was 8.5 millimeters thick and weighed 360 grams. In place of the previous package, the NVIDIA Tegra K1 is out, and in is the Intel X5Z8500. This is a 14 nanometer constructed 64-bit processor with four cores, and backing this up is Intel's HD graphics and two gigabytes of RAM. There's two storage options available, 16 or 64 gigabyte options. There's no expandable storage for this Wi-Fi tablet. Finally, to keep the lights on, Xiaomi has equipped this tablet with a 6,190 milliamp hour battery. With support for 5 volts, 2A fast charging, they claim a whopping 648.8 hours of standby time, 100 hours of music playback, 
with the display off and 12.5 hours of on-screen time. But don't worry, when we get our hands on that tablet, we will test it out and prove it to be true. So what do you guys think of all those new devices coming out? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, Android Army. My name is Jace. Love to connect with you right up here on Google Plus or Twitter. I'm mostly on Twitter. You don't want to forget about my brothers and sister in Android who are working super hard to be your source for all things Android.